This story starts in any small town in the Canadian prairies. Dad checks the ice one last time. Then, like it's Christmas morning, the kids can finally get out onto the pond. From now on, until the spring thaw, it's game time. Before school, after school, and after dinner, a stick, a puck, and the cool winter air. Life is on that outdoor rink. Everything else is just a distraction. It's not just a pastime. It's a part of our collective identity. At 20 degrees below zero, those unfamiliar with our Canadian winters might even call it crazy. Crazy or not, good luck getting those kids off the ice. In Edmonton in 2003, they had an even crazier idea. Let's hold a real NHL game, outdoors, for points. Let's bring together two of hockey's greatest franchises and collectively celebrate the heritage of our sport. Let's battle the same elements when we first fell in love with this great game. Oh, here's Ryan Smith, takes the shot, scores! In 2003, this wasn't just an unusual idea. This was nothing less than revolutionary thinking. And if it's gonna happen somewhere, where else than in the heartland of hockey? Where else do you have the conditions, the passion, the courage to go first? Where else do you have the people who are never scared to take a risk and get their hands dirty and cold? After two years of planning, involving thousands of hours of work by Oilers employees, community leaders, partners, sponsors and volunteers, Oil Country was ready to take center stage in the hockey universe. With the whole world watching, it was time for the NHL's first outdoor regular season game. A tribute to the roots of the sport, the culmination of all those hours playing shinny on the pond, a face-off between two iconic Canadian hockey clubs. And with that puck drop, the Heritage Classic was born. Man the Oilers, Smith is in, Theodore down. Penalty, a bump to expire in front, Brewer, Theodore the save, and the Oilers are on the board. And a shot by Stales, loose puck, and they score! Jared Stahl has the goal! And what a celebration we have had here tonight. This crazy idea from Edmonton was a resounding success. It built the foundation for many more outdoor games to come. But then, something else happened. Something started to change in oil country. A fire was lit, a renewed energy, a collective feeling of hope and of a bright future. A new owner with a new vision, not only for the team, but for the transformation of Edmonton itself. As a world-class arena emerged as the crown jewel of Ice District, the largest sports and entertainment district in Canada, our city began to evolve before our very eyes. A new era emerges, led by two of the brightest lights in the hockey world not seen since the days of Gretzky and Curry, Messier and Anderson, Coffee and Lowe. Small market, not anymore. This is oil country a sports and entertainment powerhouse with fans filling spaces indoor and out, creating a collective fervor unseen anywhere else in the NHL. And yet, despite the leaps and bounds taken by the city and by the team, we remain grounded, we remain humble, we remain supportive of one another. This perhaps is our greatest accomplishment. We are defined by our kindness, our generosity, our relentless compassion and sense of community, which is why so many diverse people proudly call this home. Standing up for those in need, creating a future of opportunity, because every kid deserves a shot. Now, with the world's best fans and the world's best players, the Oilers will once again take to an outdoor rink at Commonwealth Stadium. And this time, it's personal. A storied rivalry that never disappoints. Wayne Gretzky in on goal. Just scores in overtime. Gretzky gets the winner. And now it is Brown and Kite. Oh, oh, bring it to my oh, What a hit. Here's the left from Nugent Hopkins. It's 
marks a 20-year anniversary, a return to the place where it all started, to pay homage to the first outdoor NHL game ever played. Five, and it's going to be epic.